This video is sponsored by Guitar World Magazine. Today on Wrist Beards and Gear, we compare three different S2 McCarty 594s from PRS. The S2 line from Paul Reed Smith Guitars has been a bridge of sorts uh, between the SE line and the core models and the more expensive uh, models in the PRS line. And the S2 are American made guitars at a price point that most working musicians can afford. And today on this video, we are going to be specifically shooting out three different uh, McCarty 594 models out of the S2 line. Now the three models that I, I'm gonna try to cut it. Uh, there we go, balance is good. <laughs> <laughs> now the three models that we're gonna be shooting out out of the S2 series is the McCarty 594, the blue uh, McCarty 594 thin line, and then the McCarty 594 single cut guitars. Now first, let's talk about the similarities between all three models. Now features that are the same across all three models are the mahogany body, the mahogany neck, the 10 inch radius fretboard, the rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets, and a 24 and a half inch scale. Well, 24.594 inch scale across all three models. Now, as far as pickups go, all three models share the same pickups, which are the 5815S models in the bridge and neck position. So we're gonna do a shootout and we are going to do three different tests. Now, all of these guitars are strung with 10 to 46 strings. They are, have their factory setup. I have not touched anything as far as the setup goes. These are straight out of the box. I didn't touch the bridge action. I'll, all I did was tune them up uh, to E standard and drop D, depending on the song that you're about to hear. And we are going to compare all three guitars playing the same thing. And we're going to do three different tests, one with a clean, one with a little slightly dirtier crunch tone and then a high gain tone. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. So here we go with the comparison. So where does that leave us in the S2 McCarty 594 line? Well, these two guys, the, the, the 594 and the 594 single cut retail for $16.99, whereas the thin line retails for about $14.99, $200 less. It's a more vintagey flavor, the thin line, and the body is physically a little thinner, hence the name thin line. However, for me and my personal taste, 
I have always wanted a single cut Paul Reed Smith, and this really, really scratches that itch, the single cut. The single cut is robust. I love how the neck feels. Um, it just sounds, it just roars. Whereas the 594 is slightly more refined in feel. However, all three of these guitars really, really sounded good and I was impressed with all of them are really, really great. This is the first time that I've really sat down and played anything from the S2 series. These absolutely hang all day long with the much more expensive core models, um, namely my, my custom 22 that I have used for a long time on this channel. And either one you pick, you're, you're gonna score and get a huge winner nonetheless. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome.